Captain Saab, I'm going to ask you just two minutes. I want, I'm going to try a rapid fire with you. So the quick, the fast, the first kind of response that comes to you, um, and just you know try to have fun with it, and we'll just sort of uh, go, uh, you know, just to see how it takes us. A military leader you admire? Um, Field Marshal Malik Shaw, Jalhar Bakh Singh, Field Marshal Ma um, Rommel, um, Field Marshal um, uh, General Patton. I mean, these are all military leaders of my age, of our age. Uh, not the earlier ones, and you have Napoleon, a great genius. These are sort of things that are there in the past, but yes, these are the ones that I've worked with and I've seen. Um, your biggest regret? Biggest regret? Leaving the army. Okay. I left the army because my father went off as an ambassador, uh, uh, and my mother was in parliament, and my brother was in the army, and I was in the army, and one of us had to quit. And I just didn't, I, I would have loved staying on. Now, of course, I've been a retired soldier, but I would have carried on then. Okay. Your first love? Don't ask me that now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't suggesting a person. I was just suggesting I, I, a... I My first love, I'll tell you. My first love has been uh, um, gardening. Always has been gardening. And you should come and see the garden. Yeah, it's in full bloom at the moment. In fact, my next question was going to be, and I've done my research, so I know you love gardening. So my, 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 my next question is going to be to choose between gardening and writing. Both. They are different, different things altogether. Gardening, you can't spend all day in the garden, but you can sit in your office and write. And I'm writing that book now, so it's, it's good. I hope I'm out soon. Is there a favorite wartime story you can share with us? And not necessarily yours, any wartime story. There are so many things when you when you're writing. You know, I've written six books on military history. Yes. So there are so many issues that come and confront. Is there you one? Is there that one thing that one incident that you think was that left a lasting impression on you? Well, uh, if you are talking about history, then I think Waterloo is is something that is is a very interesting place. I've been to Waterloo incidentally. I studied the battle on the ground. Both general who wrote uh, this uh, monsoon war with me. Both both of us went there. And we paced it and we walked it and we saw what the distances were and all sort of very interesting. And uh, that is what I saw. Then, I, then of course, I went to the to, to Ypres where my own regiment fought. And I followed them uh, on the path with the military historian. So these are things that are very interesting. Uh, in India, I think it's been how we contained uh, Operation Gibraltar, which was when these fellows uh, sent seven columns across in, on the 1st of July. And they wanted to penetrate Kashmir and operate in various areas, kill assassination, blowing up dumps and roads and bridges and all. And how the general, General Harbak Singh, dealt with it. You know, when I when I arrived in, when we, we were in Patan Court, I'll tell you a little story, just two minutes. Yes. We were in Patan Court and um, this message came that uh, the airport had been abandoned and the, the enemy had, uh, had entered um, Badami Bar Cantonment. And uh, so General said, get an aircraft. So we got an aircraft. And I remember being Commander Chandan Singh, MBC and Bar, great airman. He was flying it. And we went over the Banihal Pass. And there was a whiteout in Srinagar and uh, 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 in the valley. And then when we got to this point, the General turned around. General was sitting in one seat. Uh, the, uh, the, the wing commander was flying it. And I was in the seat behind. And he said, sir, I think we are over Srinagar. Should we make a attempt and we didn't couldn't see Sidnagar, couldn't see the mountains so we just spiraled down landed right fought on the airfield we went right into the airfield center and switched off and uh, we took a, a platoon of uh, stick light infantry with us so they surrounded the aircraft and the general got out and looked out nothing aircraft, airport had been abandoned there was nobody there so then we found a driver who had been with the Sikh Light Infantry platoon. And there was an old, you know, the Air Indian Airlines had used to have gray buses in those days. So those gray buses was brought and the fellow fixed the wires and got it to uh, run. And the general in front with the driver, I behind him, two uh, LMG on top and the bus full of soldiers we drove off. Then we saw the corps about a mile or two down the road, the corps commander was coming up, General Katoj to pick us up. So that was an interesting part. And uh, there was nothing there. It was just panic. So the air force was abandoned. Air force and uh, the air uh, airport was abandoned. Not a policeman. Forget about that. No airman. No air ATC. Nothing. 
and similarly was the case when we went into Badami Bar. There was firing, but firing used to take place in that place all the time. But nothing in Badami Bar, just panic. So these are stories which are very interesting. Wonderful. My last rapid fire question. One thing you like about our Prime Minister? <laughs> Look, I've known Mr. Modi since he was, we were chief ministers together. He was chief minister of Gujarat and chief minister of Punjab, 2002, 2007. So uh, we got to know each other when we used to meet in all the chief ministers conferences and we were very friendly. Even after that, when he ever visited Punjab and uh, once for instance, I met him in Amritsar, he was coming in and I was going out. So once kept that way nice. He's a, he he's, he's, has his own outlook to life, whether you agree with that or not, but he's determined. And what he done, I think that's one thing that there should be no va uh, vacillation. One should be one should be clear in the mind what you want to achieve and do it. And I think that is one policy that one thing I'd like about him is that he's whatever he does, uh, he's quite clear in his mind what he wants and he goes ahead with it. There's no no waffling. Let's put it this way. And that I think is the worst thing in a, in, a, in any administrator if you you just mess, beat around the bush. You can't run a state by beating around the bush. So that I think is one state. Otherwise, I don't agree with many of his policies. I've said that to you and said that. I don't agree with his agriculture policies at all. I don't agree with this business of turning the country into a into a, a Hindutva state. I don't believe that. I believe in secularism. I believe in my countries.